I mean, it, it was once once we knew what we had on our hands with a particular talent, then we would know how to produce them and how to write their stuff. Certain talent needed to have uh, needed to have every every syllable scripted for them. Um, not that they not that they weren't good talkers or not that they couldn't you know couldn't work glib, but they just preferred it that way and they were better that way. Like a perfect example, Jeff Jarrett was one of those guys where he always wanted to have everything scripted out. He wanted to know what do you want me to say and I will deliver it. He would always knock it out of the park. Other guys like Locke or Austin, you, they would just want bullet points and that's all they needed. You give them bullet points of what you wanted them to hit, the points you wanted them to make, and they would make it, and they would make it within their, you know, within their character. They would put it together, and we would go over it with them, like that thing that you mentioned in Beyond the Mat. That was Rock and I basically reconvening after we had gotten together earlier in the day, and I would have gone over the bullet points with him, but then we were getting back together because he was, he was giving back to me what he had in mind, what he had come up with, based on the bullet points that I gave him earlier in the day. So that's what that relationship was like. So once you, once you knew who, who, you know, who, could, who could fly with bullet points and who needed to have everything scripted for them, that made it a lot easier. The worst thing is trying to get bullet points to somebody who needed everything scripted for them. Or the flip side, somebody who really didn't need to have everything scripted for them, trying to give them a, a, a thorough script like they do with everybody these days. You know, everything, every syllable is scripted out, you, you can tell, on the air. And it just, you know, it kind of, for certain guys, it'll just strangle the life out of the promo. And it'll strangle the life out of, what, out of their character. And it's very clear that what they're saying is not coming from them. It's coming from, you know, this piece of paper that they have been handed. So once you get that, once you figure out who, who, who needs what, then you're in a good good shape to produce them very effectively um, and get the most out of them.